Uh, so, the ancient Mag's Bride is a really interesting one. I liked season one with what they did with the sort of, like, the only way to describe the, like, villain, the sort of, like, eldritch horror sort of, like, being. But season two, with this sort of, like, in a way feeling like this, like, because you sort of, like, in the first season, there wasn't one person being, like, But because you have this interesting, but I think both seasons are really good. But this season, I feel like, in a way, had this sort of like sense of like a ticking time on it. Not because it was like feel rush or this, but it felt like every single moment was just one more tick towards this sense of like something's gonna go wrong. And because we have this bigger group with the other friends, which I absolutely love, because the first season really had this more smaller group. I think you had these two, I think the priest and the two others, plus the villain. So on the good guy side, you had like five. And yes, I think you have a similar number, but you have like a different group. You have other people in. You still have these two, but you have the students, which I think there's a total of, like, seven in all of them, because I think there's, like, five, and then plus him, like, seven, seven. And what the villain is looking for is that level of, like, yeah, getting someone back who was dead, yeah, that makes sense. I could understand that. But the way she did that was fucked up. So, like, wanting your son back period that makes sense but like she didn't want to like her somebody she wanted to have someone to manipulate and the whole thing that they did is just so insane the twists the turn and the overall intrigue is just absolutely perfect and awesome i 100 percent recommend to watch